and welcome along to another customer review from us. This time it is all about this piece, the Massey Ferguson Ideal 8T Combine. And at the helm we have Mr. Chris Wade. So this guy here, he's going to tell us all about the Combine, how he's been getting on with it. But before we uh, kick off with that, I mean, Chris, I mean, just tell us a little bit about your business here, about your family, about the farm. So uh, we're, we're in uh, Grantham, Lincolnshire. Um, so we're arable sort of farmers and contractors. Uh, we have uh, beef store cattle uh, on the home farm as well. So we run about 120 uh, head of beef store cattle um, alongside alongside the, uh, the arable business as well. So. So we have our own uh, own land. Uh, we rent, rent, and and do share farming as well, as well as uh, stubble to stubble, uh, sort of full year contracting as well. Yeah. Um, across across various bits in the uh, in the local area. Right. Um, so what sort of area will you be farming? So we're covering about three thousand one hundred acres of uh, of combinable crops. Um, which uh, yeah keeps us keeps us fairly well entertained through the year. That's saying What sort of crops are you growing? What kind of rotations are we talking? Um, so we're all um, we're all uh, all combinables. Um, so we're uh, barley, oilseed, rape, um, wheat, uh, and spring oats and spring beans as our sort of main break crops. So I mean we're in uh, harvest 2022. Yeah. How's it gone? I mean the weather's been pretty kind so far uh, very kind yeah yeah very very strangely kind really we've had a real real dry run I know other places in the country have had it had it wetter during the summer but no we've had very little rain whatsoever I think we've counted since we've started harvesting about nine mil so far right so um, very very little rain so so it's been an absolute breeze it's really. been a dream so, one yeah been a breeze so far so we're we're just about two-thirds through harvest we're on the last day day and a half of uh, of wheat here now and um, and yeah all's gone well and uh, gone gone really well good so we're in a nice crop of wheat today what uh, what variety is this one so this is siskin for this customer that we're on today um it's probably not in the best part of the field at the moment but <laughs> uh, but generally oh, we're doing doing yeah eight and a half nine to the hectare so so not bad once you get into the middle it should should pick up a bit but yeah. um but yeah no siskin which is hopefully going to get some some sort of milling uh, premium on as well so so no no good so right let's get stuck into this combine and find out what you think of it and how you've been getting on with it so for kickoff how long have you been running this one this so, 80 so just this year this is the um the first year we've we've had this harvester um it's new to us this year it's actually sort of two years old already but it's it's new to us this year right um and no so so far we've had few little teething issues but really very little um very little issues um i mean dealer backup's been been really good yeah um, who's your dealer around here uh, so bnb tractors uh, are based at mansfield so they're a little way from us but they're um they've been really good there their technician that comes out is can't fault him really he's at the end of the phone no matter what time of day i've <laughs> i've managed to ring him um and uh, i know he's he's been you know on, on the end of the phone straight away he knows what the um knows what the problem is as, as I'm telling him what, what symptoms yeah. I've got sort of job. So now um, parts have parts have been available as well and we run uh, run combines for five years um, uh, um, five year warranties and then trade them in and move on so so um, it's all about the right deal and the right combine at the yeah. time. Um, this one being fairly fresh to the market. We we demoed it last year um, and we, we thought it was good enough to uh, to take the plunge and, and give it a go and uh, try something different really that's it well you say you know try something different because it is still quite different yet isn't it with the ideal it's still very you know relatively new to the market did you feel it was much of a gamble or had you seen enough to be sort of convinced or I mean we were we were pretty convinced by the demo we, we thought that was good um, but it you know it doesn't give you all the faith on the demo but talking to the dealer more and more it's not a dealer we've actually dealt with before either um, you know they, they they seemed pretty confident that they could back it up and and keep us rolling and uh, and so far they've been they've been true to the word. But no, we, we're definitely finding um, uh, various benefits over our over our previous harvest. Their straw quality is definitely definitely one of them that's significantly improved. But no, it, you know you can see it's how it uses less horsepower to to get the same job done because it's 
it's not smashing the straw up like our old combine did and uh, it's definitely definitely improving on efficiency like that we're, we we believe we're definitely using less fuel in this this combine it's got to be 15 percent or more i would imagine right um uh, just the way we we don't fill the mouser up to bring to it every day now so um and with that as well is throughput output any more any different ah i think we're we're slightly up um it's very difficult to tell without running them absolutely side by side all the while different conditions can can favor one over the other i would say so so i would say we struggle to struggle to tell two bigger differences but you know it's certainly on par if not better so we, we certainly haven't gone backwards yeah. in terms of output so numbers then what sort of work rates have you had out this combine or tons per hour so at the moment we're doing 51 52 ton an hour but we're still trying to negotiate say, we've got the headlands going yeah at the <laughs> so, moment so I'm, I'm you know we'll get 60 ton an hour um, quite comfortably yeah. in in the middle of the field um, and that should be and that's you know, a that's a pretty comfortable average 60 ton an hour yeah it is i mean with what we've got to do we've we've certainly in in wheat in, in nice standing crops of wheat we've got to be got to be pushing that 100 acres a day really to actually get round it all and make the job happen so i mean let's have a let's have a little uh, chat about sort of grain sample and things like that what's it uh, what's yeah. she like what's she producing um, I mean, we're very pleased with the sample. We're finding it's it's easier um, getting a sample out of this combine than the last. It's extremely kind on the straw. So we've, we're finding we've got a, le a lot less um, short bits of straw and a lot less chaff to actually sieve out. Um, so we're finding grain sample uh, it is improved from our from our previous um, harvester, um, uh, which 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 is, is is good. It's definitely helping the capacity. You know, we're not. We're not really limited by sieve losses because we're putting so much less over the sieves yeah. than we than we were with our previous harvester. That's it. And you say straw quality is pretty good out of the back of this. Yeah, I mean certainly certainly improved over 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 previous harvesters, um, which which we're finding, you know, various benefits uh, from. We we hope that means there's less less um, that the balers don't pick up. We did struggle with that a bit with our old harvester. We ended up with quite a lot of short straw actually left. Sort of in the swath in the bottom of the stubble that that um, we're on a shallow sort of cultivating mid till regime and that was causing us issues in the next crop with that increased amount of residue in one trail so we're, we're, we're fairly confident that we're gonna um, be better off this year um, in that in that respect yeah.